Hi folks, I'm back with a few brand new Excel trips and tricks. So let's start with our number one tip. So to start with, we often save Excel files and we forget the path of the files when we are working. There's a very simple Excel function here, which is called cell. So type cell, I'll make it a little bit bigger uh, so that you guys can see it like this. Okay, so cell, type cell, and then start parentheses and end commas, uh, inverted commas, just write file name and close the formula uh, or the function and press enter. The moment you will press enter, it will share the path of the file you're working on. That is pretty simple, pretty handy, and you can quickly see it. Again, it's cell and then file name. That's it. Simple and short. Often while typing a function or a formula, for example, I type here VLOOKUP and I want to see what are the rest of the arguments or the placeholder for the arguments. I just start it and press Control shift a It will appear all in front of you. So you can see the complex formulas and if you need help, it makes sense to have the combinations right in front of yourself. So again, Control shift and a That will help you to bring the arguments in front of yourself. Often while typing formulas, we get mixed up and we get errors and we don't know what to do. So let's use Excel to help us in formula auditing. So for example, I have a formula here, sum, and I sum these two and I close the parentheses and I multiply this with ABC here. Oh, there's an error. So let's see how we can overcome this error. So go to formulas. In the formulas, you will find evaluate formulas. So in the ribbon, you have formulas and in the formulas you have evaluate formulas when you press evaluate formula there is a pop-up window which is evaluation of the formula so what excel is doing for you now is evaluating each step of the formula so the first step is to sum up um, he will check the sum up so excel is going to check the sum up by the way this is not mathematical uh, hierarchy of checking but it's a hierarchy of formula in excel so formula says first sum it up so let's see what does it evaluate the sum result is three which is correct one plus two is equal to three now the next step is it will multiply it with b4 here now this is uh, next evaluation and it says that it cannot evaluate because it's abc means this is abc and it won't be evaluate by uh, processed by the formula and it's an error so again let's see evaluate it's here step in you see this is the steps of the formula so the first step is that a plus b and then it's another one that is multiplied by abc so step out and you can see evaluation at a result here so you can see from here which part of your formula is functioning and which part of the function or the formula is not working It's often very inconvenient when you have to go at the very end of the columns in your spreadsheet and have to see what is the number in the last column. So let me make it easy for you today. So for example, we have multiple numbers here in these columns. I will simply type a function that is called lookup. And after typing this function, I will enter um, a scientific notation, which is a very big number. So you can put anything here, but I'll put, for example, here E100. And uh, after putting this, I will simply put a comma, and then I will select the whole um, row here where I want to see this numbers. And you can see it shows me now the number at the very end of this uh, columns list. So if I add another number here in the columns, for example, 888, you will see it has changed here. So again, the formula is VLOOKUP not we look up look up then we have a scientific notation here and then select the whole row where you want to search the very last number if you ever come across a spreadsheet with a lot of formulas spread across uh, your data this is one of the hidden functions that would make it easy for you to see what is the formula or the function behind a specific number so for example let's type here a function and make a sum of this now we have a number number by the way so you can see the formula the function in the function formula bar but if you want to see it here there's a key called back trick key 
or carrot key on top of your uh, keyboard under escape. So press it and you will see the function here. Now you can see the function, the formula here. Again, if you press again, it will remove itself. So you can see the numbers again. So again, back tap key or it is called uh, carrot key in your keyboard that can help you to see the function on your spreadsheet. Thank you.